Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Prophet Ezequiela, and you are joining me. We are coming back to our weekly series here on Equipping Kingdom Leaders with Prophet Ezequiela, where I am continually, continuing to teach and share on deliverance and is still relevant. And so in today's episode, I just want to um, touch on the language, begin to touch on the language and terminology um, that is used during praying um, spiritual warfare and deliverance prayers. And so I want to key in on binding and loosing in today's episode. You know, Jesus Christ has given us the authority um, to bind and to to loose Jesus is our deliverer and everything that we do, we do because um, we are in relationship with Jesus Christ. So um, you can minister self-deliverance and you can minister deliverance to others. I'm here to equip you. And so I just want to encourage you um, to remember that. Um, I want to share for you one of the foundational scriptures that I'm using in this series is Matthew, I'm sorry, Mark 16, 17. And it says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Jesus said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. So yes, when we are talking about deliverance ministry, um, we're talking about taking authority over the devil and over the works of darkness um, in your own life and in the lives of those that you minister to. Okay, so we take authority in the name of Jesus. Jesus has given you authority um, to bind and to loose devils and unclean spirits. I want to give you Matthew 16, 19. I hope that you are writing these scriptures down. This is coming from the King James Version. It says, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Okay, so Jesus has given you the keys. He's given you the keys to bind and to loose, okay? So everything that you're doing, you're doing in his authority. I also want to give you Matthew 18, 18. I'm going to give it to you from the Amplified. It says, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whatever you bind, forbid, declare to be improper and what and unlawful on earth shall have already been bound in heaven and whatever you loose, permit, declare lawful on the earth shall have already been loosed in heaven. And so you have the authority, get it in your spirit. Hallelujah. Get it in your spirit. You have been given authority from Jesus, hallelujah, to bind and to loose, all right? So let me give you some definitions right here. Bind, what are we talking about? To make secure, by tying, to confine, to restrain, to restrict, as with bonds, to constrain with legal authority, to exert a restraining or a compelling effect, bind, to arrest, to apprehend, to handcuff, to lead captive, um, to take charge of, to lock up, to fetter, to shackle, to chain, to hold back, to check, to curb, to put a break on, to call a halt to, to put a stop to. Do you hear the sound of warfare, okay? Spiritual warfare, you can bind, you can lock up, you can put a stop to the harassment of the devil in your life. You can put a stop to, okay, any type of demonic 
um, torment in your life, okay? And in the lives of those that you minister to, you bind the devil in the name of Jesus, okay? Um, I have been encouraging you to um, always know that you enter into prayer and spiritual warfare um, by the leading of the Holy Spirit and empowered by um, the Holy Spirit. So you have authority and you have power given to you by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To take authority, to put a stop to, to bind the works of the devil in your life and in the lives of those that you are ministering to. Um, what are the works of darkness? Hallelujah. Let's look at some of what are the what the works of darkness encompass. We're talking about sin, iniquity. We're talking about perversion, sickness, disease, infirmity. We're talking about death, destruction, curses, witchcraft, sorcery, um, divination, poverty, lack, um, strife, lust, pride. Okay. Hallelujah, fear and torment and confusion. These are some of the works of darkness, okay? And you can put a stop to these things um, when they begin to manifest in your life or in the lives of those um, in your family and those who come to you um, that want prayer, okay? Hallelujah. So that's binding, okay? Let's look at loose. Let's look at what it means to loose. Loose means to untie, to free from restraint, to detach, to disjoin, to separate, to unhitch, to get free, hallelujah, to unfetter, to, to, to free, to release, to unlock, to liberate, hallelujah. Remember, Jesus came to set the captives free. Remember that um, deliverance ministry is a part of setting the captives free, setting the captives free from any type of demonic bondage, any type of demonic oppression. That's what deliverance ministry is. So um, what are some of the things that people need to be loosed from? People need to be loosed from curses, from familiar spirits, from sin, from guilt, from shame, from condemnation, from control, from manipulation, hallelujah, from oppression, hallelujah, from mind control and religious spirits and sickness, disease, deception, false teaching, um, bad habits, demons, unclean spirits, soul ties, ungodly soul ties, okay? Hexes, vexes, um, ungodly oaths and pledge, pledges that they may have made in ignorance. So we have been given the legal authority to loose ourselves and to loose others that we minister to, okay? So praise the name of Jesus. So let's look at some scriptures and remember that our enemies, okay, this is spiritual warfare. So we're talking about spiritual enemies. And because we have a spiritual, we have spiritual enemies, we deal with things in the spirit. We're not in our flesh. We're not in in carnality, but we are praying. Hallelujah. Prayer is a spiritual weapon. We are loosing, we are speaking the word of God. Hallelujah. In the authority of Jesus Christ. Remember the sword of the spirit. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. So we are praying, we are decreeing the word of God. We are taking our authority. Hallelujah. When we bind and we loose. Um, let me give you Matthew 12. 28 through 30. And this is Jesus speaking. He said, but if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come on to you. So we are casting out, we are binding the devil. Hallelujah. Um, and we are casting out devils by the spirit of God. Verse 29 says, or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Okay. So Jesus is saying, you got to cast out devils and you have to bind the strong man. Okay. So the, this is the language and this is the terminology that you use when you pray warfare prayers, when you pray um, prayers for deliverance, you bind hallelujah, the strong man, and you cast 
the devils out, okay? It's in the word, and the word is clear. Now, let me give you Isaiah 58, 6. It says, is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, hallelujah, and to untie the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke. So what am I saying? Fasting, hallelujah, when you are preparing to minister self-deliverance, hallelujah, you may you want to do some prayer and fasting because fasting helps to loose the bands of wickedness, to loose um the demonic hold um that may be taking place where the devil has a demonic hold. So that's why we fast and we pray. OK, so even if you are caught, you're about to have a deliverance service, you have a deliverance service plan. You want to encourage the people to fast um, on the day of the lit of the deliverance service. OK, because fasting helps. Hallelujah. To break the bands of wickedness. OK, praise the name of Jesus. This is an equipping session. I am equipping you to do the work of the ministry, um, deliverance ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus taught his disciples that some devils will only leave. Hallelujah. Some devils will only lose people or come out. Hallelujah. After a through prayer and fasting. And you can write down Matthew um, 17, 14 through 21, and I'll begin to read. And it says, and when they came and when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed, for oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to to." Um, the disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long um, shall I suffer you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil. Amen. Listen to that terminology. Listen to the sound of that warfare. Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour verse 19 then came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could we not cast him out and jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for verily i say unto you if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed you shall say unto the mountain be removed yonder and it shall be removed let me jump down to um verse 21 and Je then jesus said how be it this kind goeth out but but by not but let me say that again how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting okay so there are times there's a stubborn there are stubborn devils and they ain't leaving unless there's been some prayer and some fasting um prayer and fasting humbles our soul okay they just want hey it it, it increases um the flow of the spirit's power okay through you you're a vessel that god is using so um don't miss the point um that i'm making on today in this session you have been given legal authority to bind, to put a stop to the works of darkness, the, the works of the devil. And you have been given authority to loose yourself and to loose those that you minister to from the devil's grip. OK, and remember, you always have to have faith. Everything that we do in the kingdom of God, we do by faith. So it's going to take faith It's going to take prayer It's going to take fasting. This is how you equip yourself, hallelujah, to minister deliverance to yourself and to others. So I pray that you have been blessed by this session, beloved. I pray that you will continue um, to join me for Equipping Kingdom Leaders TV, where I'm equipping you for the work of the ministry. Um, make sure that you connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at Miller Equilla. Go ahead and you can connect. You can go to my website, 
um, from that Instagram. All of my social media platforms have a link to my website. Go on out, search my website. I'm offering different products and services. I do online prophetic mentoring. I'm currently accepting people into the program. So guys, come on, like these videos, follow me on YouTube, share the videos. Hallelujah. Come on and get connected because I'm equipping you for the work of the ministry. Until next time, beloved. God bless.